While you're watching this, please keep in mind that I am not a master carpenter. I'm not a professional of any sort. I'm just a dude with ADD that likes to figure things out as I go. Um, my approach to this build is more of one of an artist than a uh, master carpenter. I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. I'll probably mess up a bunch of times and have to go in and fix it. That's fine. I like, I like working that way. So remember that. So as you can see, I've started building this cabinet. Ow, damn, that was my head. That hurt. Um, ow, am I bleeding? No. Okay. Uh, so I cut out all the little spots for the wheel well and the gas inlet and whatnot. And uh, I've also cut the top part, just the, the main frame, no reinforcements yet. Okay, so this part is done. The, uh, the main frame is complete. Now this part right here is going to have a shelf that goes all the way up. So right now I'm just leaving it like this, just, just for now kind of thing. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna stick it inside and see how it fits. And the way I did this is really simple, just glue and screw. I just did all the measurements and then uh, I cut the wood and then I glue, I put a little bit of this wood glue on it and uh, just single screw in there. That should be enough for uh, just the basic frame here. And then also once I put the, uh, once I put the wood over the top and add supports in the middle, it, it's gonna be plenty strong. Okay, so as you can see, it fits. And um, basically, I'm gonna build another one that's shorter, but the same depth and height on this side. And uh, there's gonna be a little bit of foot room here. And I'm probably gonna get a, uh, like a portable table to put right here instead of building a, a permanent or a, a removable one that goes up and down. Um, because then I can take it outside and use it when I'm camping and whatnot. But one thing I really want to do is, uh, in my van tour video, I said that there's half inch insulation under this roof one, but there's really one inch. So I've got two inches of roof insulation, and if I take this panel out, then I'll still have an inch, and I think that's plenty. And then I can get, uh, like, I don't know what I'll put on the roof, probably a piece of really really thin plywood and bolt it to these rafters and I bought a uh, tapestry that I'm gonna glue to foam and glue onto that and that'll save me a whole inch of uh, headroom and in this tiny space an inch is a lot so I'm gonna pull this thing off look at how much bigger that looks it looks so much bigger inside. So now you guys actually get a good look of how I insulated this thing. These, uh, in between these rafters, I put this, I think it's half inch, maybe it's quarter inch. Uh, and this is a shallow part. And then in the deeper parts, I put the one inch insulation and just cut it to fit and wedged all the little areas. Uh, there was a piece here that fell out or something with uh, the one inch and all the little areas I wedged with insulation. So basically uh, now it's, it's just uh, get a really thin piece of plywood to put up against this and then cover it with that tapestry so that it looks nice and uh, professional because the way it is now, like the way it was with the, the shiny stuff out, it just looks unfinished and it just looks bad. It was cool that it reflected heat and it reflected light like it was functional, but it just looked like shit. It was just unfinished. So, uh, oh, and you can see here, kind of. But basically, I insulated it all the way up and then wedged a bunch of, I put a bunch of reflectics under there so the front part's insulated too, just with reflectics though. But uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm holding this camera perfectly st straight and as you can see, this wall curves in and that's gonna be a problem when I'm trying to sit down. Well, maybe it's not because if the mattress only goes up to here and it sticks out, yeah, maybe I will leave this. I'm thinking about taking this piece off, like cutting it right here and putting plywood over it. But I also got another tapestry to glue onto it, so maybe I'll just leave it. I don't, I'll leave it for now, and I'll figure it out later. Oh, and here you can see how I uh, wired my ceiling fan. Basically, I used heat shrink crimps, and uh, the whole thing is heat shrinked. It's like a, the crimp comes with heat shrink, heat shrink material around it so that it doesn't, uh, the sparks don't go anywhere or anything. Basically, that's it. And as far as this LED light, this badass uh, LED light that I made a video about the other day, um, 
I'll be able to glue, I got some really high end glue and I'll be able to glue the bottom and re-glue it with the new, new roof. I'm gonna try to hide them so you can't see them during the day. Maybe I'll hide them under the tapestry. I think that would look really cool. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try that. Oh yeah, and here's the, uh, here's the routing for the solar panel, uh, the cable that comes from it. And then I just routed it right behind this thing. This thing's gonna get replaced too. There's gonna be something up against this wall that covers the whole thing. But I'm pr that's probably gonna be a phase two thing. I'm gonna do this whole build in phases. So, yeah. Okay, so I just forgot to press record through that whole thing, but basically what happened is this was coming out at an angle and I didn't like it because that meant less foot room. So what I've done is all these parts and that one and those three, uh, I cut down and made it so that this was straight and parallel with these, uh, these things and I cut them in quite a bit. Um, I was actually went over the 24 inches a little bit because I forgot to account how thick these were. Uh, that's what happens when you're, when you're trying to do it in a rush like I was the other night. So uh, I highly suggest you take your time with this stuff so you don't have to take your, take your stuff apart and redo it. Do it right the first time and uh, be done with it, you know what I mean? So basically now I'm just gonna add some more reinforcements one here, one over there, probably another one in the middle up there, and uh, be done with this part and then get started on the part that go, the, the cabinet's gonna go all the way up, up there. Okay, so the situation with this spot is I'm not gonna be able to build just one box. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build three separate boxes and build them on top of each other. So the bottom box, because this, this bottom part of the seat goes in more, I'm going to be able to make it wider. And this box is gonna be specifically for the specific toilet that I have in mind. And the second box I'm gonna build on top of that doesn't need to be as wide and it can't be because it hits the seat right here. And the box that goes right here is going to be for my water jug. Where did it go? I thought I had it right here. Oh, I put it in the garage. And, uh, and then on top of that is gonna be like a miscellaneous box. And I'm gonna leave space behind, behind here to put tall stuff like a shovel and an ax that I really need to get and uh, you know like tripod and whatnot uh, so it's gonna be a nice like spot back here it's not gonna be too deep it's gonna be about six inches deep where I can just stick tall stuff and there's gonna be a headboard that goes up probably to about the window spot so that my pillow and blankets don't fall back there and uh, I'm not touching gross stuff like dirty shovels and whatnot so that's uh, that's what's gonna happen here and I'm gonna there's pizza on the way and I'm really hungry so I'm probably going to eat that before I even get started. But I'll probably just build the first box today, the one for the toilet. Hey guys, so as you can see, it is, wow, that's a really pretty sky. Uh, it's dark out now. I had to run to the hardware store to get some screws but I finished up this, uh, the frame for this cabinet here. Now keep in mind, this one's not gonna be a seat. It's all the sitting's gonna take place on this side. Um, what's gonna happen on this one is I don't have the measurements right in front of me, so I don't exactly know, but I think right about here is where it's going to stop, and there's going to be a big, uh, big area for storage, and then it's going to go up the wall and storage, and I think I might make a small cabinet that comes out a little bit for storage here. Uh, basically, this is all I'm doing tonight. Tomorrow, I am going to get plywood for the ceiling. I'm going to get some like quarter-inch plywood and line the ceiling and uh, get some foam and spray glue a, uh, a tapestry to it. I got a really cool one on Amazon that I really like. So that's gonna be the new ceiling. I, I got rid of that, that sheet, so now it's just uh, one inch in places and half inch in others, but I think that'll be plenty, especially with another piece of plywood over here. And I saved myself, it'll end up being like three quarters of an inch of headroom, which is awesome, because sitting on this thing, my head just almost touches the ceiling. If I, if I sit up perfectly straight, it touches, but uh, I never sit up perfectly straight. I always lean back a little bit. So uh, it's, it's kind of like the exact height that I'm gonna need for my head. But reducing the uh, insulation on the roof is gonna help a lot. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.